My name is Rukang Chikomb. Uh, I am from uh, the Congo and uh, was born here in Lubumbashi and uh, grew up in Kapanga. Kapanga, 600 miles northwest uh, from here, uh, from Lubumbashi. The country of the Congo has just been devastated by years of civil war and decades of mismanagement. Villages have become isolated, towns just sort of operate on their own. That infrastructure is just broken down. Uh, as all of us know, Congo is a very rich country, but infrastructure is bad. The road is pretty much non-existent. Uh, the ministry is very much needed. To be able to connect the church, we need the aviation ministry, and my first impression is that's what we're working on. The church in the Congo has just grown enormously through the years. Where it was just once one conference and one bishop or one church leader, it has since expanded into multiple territories. There we have four bishops in the, uh, in the Congo now working with the United Methodist Church and uh, a dozen different conferences that uh, these bishops oversee. So the aviation programs have grown to accommodate that territory. I am flying in the South Congo, Zambia Episcopal area. My longest flight is about 600 miles. In time, it's two hours and a half in a Cessna 210. And that's my longest one. That's how far I can go. It's amazing that God used me by teaching me step by step to show me what he wanted me to do in life. Grew up in uh, Kapanga again. And in Kapanga, in the village, I used to work with missionaries by fixing the road to the runway. And I was connected with the vision ministry in the other way that God wanted me to be a part of it. Graduate high school 89, and then uh, the son of the missionary who was in Kapanga, where I grew up, was a pilot then with the same uh, ministry I am uh, flying today. So I asked him if I could have got a job at night and daytime I can go to school. He told me I don't have any job, but I want you to help build the hangar where we are here. After finishing building the hangar, I was inside the hangar handing cow flaps, handing tires, doing spar tools to the pilot. So I myself was already connected to the ministry because God saw me from Kapanga as a little boy and then he chose me to go and become a part and one of this ministry. My connection to the vision ministry is an amazing one by God is God. A normal day flying there, you have a load or you have a call from Kapanga that the doctor cannot do a C-section on the lady. They need that lady as soon as possible to Lumbashi. So you prep as normal. You do your planning at night and in the morning by 6 a.m. at the airport. After we finish everything, I call Kapang by the cell phone. How is the weather? How is the cloud? Is it raining? Missionary who flew before us struggled, made decision by just keeping their faith up with God. And the way they did it, is to go by just instant. We are blessed with cell phones today. We are blessed with the iPad. I can get at least a weather, put everything together, and go. As soon as they give you the information, then you make a decision. And if, if there is no rain, there is no lower, lower cloud, everyone, and go save lives. There is no other aviation program that I'm, that I'm aware of in this entire world that is, that is owned and driven and, and managed by its own people the way that this program is in the Congo. I explain to everyone that pilots and airplanes and the supporters are only a tool. That tool is being used by God to make a difference in somebody else.